here comes the president. What? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> here in Miss Lundquist's second grade class, history comes alive. Good morning, Jefferson. It's been a couple hundred years, but the third president finally found some time to pay a visit. Can I sit here? Yeah. Is that good? Okay, good deal. So do you know anything about me? While his life has been well documented, for these seven and eight year olds, he's just hitting the highlights. And Thomas Jefferson was John Adams' vice president. Then the third president was? Yes, Thomas Jefferson was the third president. I, as Thomas Jefferson, wrote the first draft of the Declaration of Independence. And despite his wardrobe malfunction, that part is coming off. Yes, it is. I know. Thank you. He took time to explain some of his work and some of the things that he helped make popular. French fries. French fries. That's right. When he brought them over from France, they were basically potatoes, kind of like potato wedges, and they were deep fried. <laughs> French fries, macaroni and cheese, and ice cream, all made popular by President Jefferson. He really likes mac and cheese, ice cream, and French fries. <laughs> and they're popular with the kids, too. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Mac and cheese, probably. Um, probably ice cream. So are y'all surprised that Thomas Jefferson helped make these foods popular? Who knew President Jefferson was such a foodie? And he loved books. He loved food. He loved books. 6,500 books. I love the study of history can be powerful. You can go back in time by just learning. What happens when you're riding a horse? And that's what days like this are all about. I appreciate you having me today. Yes. In Winston-Salem. Look at Roy's folks. All right. Well, I'm glad you were able to learn a lot about Thomas Jefferson today. Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News.